today I want to spend a little bit of time going through one of what will be several um, several haul videos from things I've purchased on AliExpress over the last probably three months or so. This is this is all the stuff that came from things I ordered back in I think October. It's December now that I'm filming this. So anyway, this is a a really random collection of, of things. So it's it's very random. There are things that are but the majority of them are for different paper crafting projects. So whether it is for mixed media projects, whether it's for art journal projects, card making, journaling, there's there's a variety of, of things in here. So <clears throat> I'll just go through all the packages. If you <clears throat> If you are interested in anything in particular, I ask the Jews, please let me know, and I will. I will try to link that information to you. So the first group of things I bought from two different two different sellers are things that are related to doing stamps on envelopes and I will or just to do wax seals on envelopes what I will do is I'm going to do a video of this in a little while where I will I will videotape actually trying this for the very first time I've never done this I've never used one of these things so I'm going to give it a try and I will do that on film so these two came from one seller, the little wax, little wax beads or whatever you call them, the little spoon to melt them in, and then the actual stamp came from a different seller. So those are the first, first few things I bought. I also found on a clearance, on clearance sale at. Hobby Lobby a while back, they had some of the different little wax bits, so I will show those off and probably show those in another video. So from another seller, I bought some washi tape, and I'm going to put all the washi tape to the side, and then I'll do a little clip at the end where I'll, I'll do a little swatch of each of them. So this one is just their little little name tag, little label, uh, I want to say thingies for lack of a better word. I will get those swatched onto my bullet journal page in a little bit. This one is a whole bunch of little cat stickers. It's in a pretty little organza bag and let me just open this up. So it's in a cute little organza bag, and there's just a whole bunch of, they're, they're quite, quite small, but there's just a whole collection of different, they're in pinks and blue, mostly pinks and blues and some greens. So there's just a whole bunch of these little, little kitty cat stickers. I think the back shows the, the variety of them that are there. I don't know if it says on here 20. Yeah, 20 designs. So I thought those are cute. They'd be nice little additions into my journal pages and my bullet journal. These are several things of washi tape. One is a Christmassy one with snowman on it. 
this one oh, I like this one it's sparkly I really like this one so I'm going to put these all onto a page on my junk journal so different feathers Again, another another pretty one and little rose gold cats so again random random things here didn't cut this one yet I will cut this and put this at no I did cut this one never mind <laughs> so this is a a die cut so this has four deer in a little forest and I cut that one I did cut that one out I thought I had a an extra one for some some strange reason here's what it looks like cut out and I just have it against a, a black background it's nice and pretty I think it'll look nice on on a card with um, either a solid background or maybe some some coloring in the background so I thought that was really really pretty some of the other orders I have in at AliExpress now and that have arrived recently are a lot more dies and die cuts so I'll have quite a few more of those to show show in the future couple more washi tapes. This one is a really thin skinny washi with little itty bitty rose gold colored fish on it. This one is, oh, it's on a backing. Okay, I didn't notice that. So it's another really pretty one. And again, I will show you all of these. I will swatch all of the washi tapes in a little bit. I also bought a few stencils. These two. This one is larger than I was expecting the pieces to be. I was thinking being able to use them as little markers along the side of the pages on a bullet journal, but each of them are quite a bit larger than I expected. But I will find I will find something to to use these these stencils for. These ones are more the shape I was and size I was looking for. So these two pieces came from the same seller. And these two, actually what happened with these, and I have a little bit of a, a story with this, is I, these are two that came in this one's quite a bit larger and this is one I think I will use on my my December pages in my bullet journal so they're all seasonal uh, little buntings this one is not what I ordered it I'd have to double check on my files but the one I ordered was I don't remember, but it certainly wasn't makeup and these little things. So I filed, I um, guess you can call it a complaint with AliExpress, and I was refunded my whole 64 cents or whatever, whatever 
small amount it was that I had paid for it. I don't, I don't recall offhand. I'll, I'll put a little, put a little note down on the bottom of the screen someplace and let you know what it was I planned on buying and how much I ended up getting refunded on this one. And then the other three things I bought were things that I will be using for multimedia projects. And they're little metal embellishments. This one is a packet of of these. This one, two, three, four, there's five in this packet. Let me just put these on on this dark background so maybe that's not going to work very well. No, that's not. Let me find a white background for you. There we go. So this one is um, a bumblebee and I think he's going to look fantastic on mixed media pages. He's probably about a couple inches, a little over an inch this way and an over an inch and a half or so in either direction. So I thought they were, thought they would make really fun additions for junk journal pages, or not junk journal pages, for, they might be nice for covers on junk journals, but they'll also be really fun for mixed media projects. The other ones I bought, there's several in this set. Let me just move these guys out of the way a bit. There were four different ones, and these are all metal embellishments. The, the bumblebees are very thick, solid metal. These ones, however, are you can see are really quite quite thin thin and flimsy but there's three pieces here and it's it really is quite they they bend quite easily they they are quite quite thin and flimsy but I thought they were really pretty though so I'll get to use those on on some mixed media pages These are similar. I think there's four, five in this set. There might be more than three in there. They might have been stuck together. And I, so this one had five. That one might have also had five, but I just didn't separate them properly. But anyway, so there's several in here. And again, here's what what they look like. There's a whole bunch in here. I'm not going to sit and count them, but you can see how easily they, they've bent. But they're just little, little embellishments. Set. There's quite a few in the packet, probably 10 or 15. And again, you can get a better look at what, what it looks like. But again, it's a very thin, flimsy metal, but it'll, they will look really nice on, on art journal projects, art journal and mixed media projects. 
and the last one I got is in Chelsea packaging. I don't think I actually ever opened that one. And again, with this, there are several in the packet, 10 pieces in a bag. And they're little metal moons or part moons. So again, these are ones I think will look really nice in, in mixed media projects as well. So those are all the goodies that I picked up on AliExpress in my most, a relatively recent haul. I'm going to do a quick little video in a, a few minutes where I, I'm going to, I'm going to swatch the, the washi tapes, but just as I just wanted to kind of get everything out and on the table here and kind of spread out. So that's my my wash or my my AliExpress haul from October. Do I have everything on here? No. I don't think I have everything on the screen. So that's my my AliExpress haul. I will be showing the, oh, I will swatch the washi tapes in just a minute and I'll be back another day with other things that I bought on AliExpress recently. So I'm just going to continue and add these where I left off on my more recent Some of the more recent ones that I've washi tapes that I've bought. And so this one has oh, quite a few. They were at a repeat now. So seven different ones on here. So I'll I didn't just bump the camera. If I did, I'm sorry. My washi cats. <laughs> those are cute. I like those. I'll have to put those in some kind of letter or something I sent to my sister. And the feathers. Oh my goodness. Oh no, there's, I've gone too far. Here's where the, the repeat begins.
feathers. Move over to this side. We'll look at a few of the Christmas ones. There's the end. Oh, that's really nice and crooked. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's try to straighten that out a little bit better, Karen. This one is so pretty. It's quite a bit thicker than your typical washi, but it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that the, the pages are quite a bit thicker. And then these two little guys. Oh, heater kicked in. Sorry about the noise. And this one has the the backing oops sorry the backing on the pages or on the on the tape and then the last little one is this So there we have the new washi tapes. Alrighty, so I will have a few more haul videos to show coming up with some additional, additional loot that I've picked up on, on AliExpress and I'll be posting those videos over time as as the um, as the materials come in so anyway thanks for watching and we'll be back with another video for you guys in a while catch you later bye